City Farmer TV, summer of 2009, and we're here today to talk to you about the European chafer beetle and applying nematodes to help control them. Nematodes are a microscopic worm that you can buy at any garden center that supplies them. When you pick up nematodes, it's very, very important that when you get them, you keep them cold. Nematodes are, need to be refrigerated because they're a living organism and it needs to stay cool until the day of use. So until the day of use would be July, the third week of July. So applying nematodes for preventative control for controlling them so that next year they won't um, have grubs in the soil that your skunks and raccoons will pick up. So first of all, the nematodes come in packages like this. Like I say, they have to be refrigerated. So making sure you've got a cooler pack available to take them home, kind of treat them like you would ice cream. You don't want them sitting in your um, vehicle as you kind of do your shopping. You pick them up, you bring them home, keep them in your refrigerator until you're ready to use them. The nematodes themselves come in packs of 50 million. And this is kind of the average um, dosage that you would need to, um, to cover a lawn that's 45 feet by 33 feet. So the average city lot. So 50 million is what you're gonna be doing to cover those in. You're simply watering them in, and we're gonna show you the steps to take to actually um, get those nematodes onto your lawn so that they'll be protected from the chafer beetle. Preparing your lawn for nematodes means making sure that the soil that you're going to be applying the nematodes to is nice and moist so that these microscopic worms can actually work within the soil um, and move around. They move around from having water in the soil. So what you want to do, picking a nice cloudy overcast day, if you don't have an overcast day in the third week of July, you want to do it really early in the morning before the sun comes up or later in the evening when the sun is off your lawn. These nematodes are UV susceptible and if you apply them in the middle of the day in the bright sunshine, you're pretty much cooking them. So you want to make sure that the soil is nice and moist and how much water to put on the lawn. Get a nice can like an old tuna can or a cat food can, a shallow dish and place it within the sprinkler distance so that you can actually gauge how much water your lawn is um, absorbing. And um, after about 35, 45 minutes, um, I think that that container will be full and then we'll be ready to apply the nematodes to this area of our lawn. So preparing the nematode concentration means taking your package of 50 million Heterohabditis bactiforia nematodes, opening it up and putting it into a concentration bucket. So the nice thing about nematodes is that they're actually very beneficial, they're actually completely harmless, and once you're kind of um, added them into the bucket, take a stick or you can use your hand, you can get your kids, your grandkids to help you do this, it's all lots of fun, and you've got your nematodes into your main concentration bucket. Once you've got this and you've agitated it, What's gonna happen is that they're gonna to start to separate. You're going to get um, nematodes that are gonna be floating, and you're gonna get some that are gonna be sinking. You always wanna keep this concentration nice and, uh, nice and um, agitated. You take your um, measuring scoop. I'm gonna go with a one cup, and you're gonna pour that into your watering can. Once you pour that into your watering can, you wanna agitate this up again, making sure that your nozzle part is clean from debris, any leaves or anything like that, because what's gonna happen is, you want a nice even flow of your nematodes coming out. You're gonna do this at every single time. Taking some nice bamboo sticks or any kind of sticks is gonna really help you with gauging where you've actually applied the nematodes already and where to kind of go on your next application. So what I like to do is take two bamboo sticks, kind of um, grid up your lawn. Kind of put that one down, make a nice grid. This is nice and moist from our sprinkler application. You've got this, you want to shake it around a little bit, and then very nice and evenly, you're going to water those nematodes in. Nice and gently, covering all the grass. And you finish that one bucket, you're getting towards the end, and you're just gonna stop, keep your pail right there, 
go back and get your initial yard stick, plunk that down on the ground, go get your next cup of concentrate, fill up your watering can, and systematically work through your lawn. Really nice and simple. So everything that you need to apply nematodes to your lawn is right in front of me here. Of course you need to get the nematodes from your garden center. You want to pre-order them at least three weeks beforehand because they are a living organism and they have to be prepared for, um, you know, keeping them refrigerated for you to come pick them up. 70,000 per square foot or 700,000 per meter square is the rate of the Heterohabditis bactiforia for Vancouver. Um, you need your bucket to make your concentration in. You need a little scooper to take a scoop of that concentration and put it into a watering can with a watering can that's filled with water. You've got a sprinkler here and you've got your little shallow dish to um, make sure that you've got enough water on your lawn. And of course your favorite set of sticks to kind of help you um, plot through your lawn making sure you get adequate full coverage. If you do have um, water restrictions in your municipality, make sure you call your water conservation department to get an extra permit and this will enable you to um, apply these nematodes within the July restrictions. So I hope this helps and thank you very much from City Farmer.